Hi guys, this is Sarah Jane from Bella Coco and today I'm going to be doing with you a crochet tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple granny square. I taught myself through YouTube so I thought it would be a really nice way just to give back and show you what I've learnt. Some of you have asked for this so here it is. So like I say, this is a granny square and you can actually do this in all different ways. Um, this is just a standard block um, and I have done different ones because of the projects I'm working on at the moment. I'll show you that now. This is my, um, what they call it, it's nowhere near finished, but this is the Crochet Mood Blanket 2014. So it's nowhere near done because we're only in April and this is actually, well the idea behind this is that you crochet a square every single day um, depending on what your mood is so at the beginning of the year I had lots of different moods and I uh, put corresponding colours to it so each day has a different colour and at the end of the year you'll have a really nice reminder of exactly how you was feeling on every single day throughout the year of 2014 so I thought that was really nice so you can do something like this or you could do something else and um, you can actually make the square just carry on going with the square to make it bigger and bigger and bigger and do all different colours um, I have done some projects like that in the past so the possibilities are endless. But if we just start with a basic square to begin with and you can build your skills and go from there. So first of all, before we start, there are a couple of things that you do need to know about crochet. With regards to the terminology, um, you actually have a US terminology and the UK terminology. For some reason, it's different. So I'll leave a link in the description box below of a great website that will show you the differences between the two so that you don't get confused and whether you're um, watching in the UK or in the US, um, you'll be able to understand. Today I'll be talking through with UK terminology because that is what I use obviously. The second thing, you can use absolutely any yarn you want to. I use this um, Stylecraft DK. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below of where you can purchase some of this. Um, it's super cheap and you can get it in absolutely loads of colours, which is why I like to use it. It is a, an acrylic yarn. Um, sometimes I find the wool, I don't know, a little bit scratchy. Some wool you can get which is really nice and soft but it is really, really expensive. It's £4 upwards just for one. Um, so I like to use this because the types of products I do it's perfect for. Whatever yarn you are using, you do need to read the instructions because it will tell you everything that you need to know, including how to wash it once you've made it and the crochet hook size. So you will need a selection of crochet hooks depending on what yarn you are using. Now, this is these are my crochet hooks. I got these off eBay and were relatively cheap. Um, and you can get all sorts of different ones, but these are just perfect for me. And for this particular yarn, I need the 4mm um, crochet hook, which is this one here. So without further ado, here is the tutorial. I'll try and make it as easy as possible for you to follow along, and hopefully by the end of it you will have your very own granny square. Here we go! Okay, so here we go. We've got the yarn here. I have my 4mm crochet hook which is what it tells me to use with this particular yarn and I also have just a small pair of scissors just to use at the end when we're snipping off um, after we've finished our square. So you can start this off two ways. I prefer to start with a slip stitch and then um, do a chain of six uh, but some people prefer to use the magic circle technique. Um, I'm going to show you the way that you would start off um, using a slip stitch. So first of all, what you want to do is you have your finger like this and then just put the yarn over um, just simply like that. Make sure that this small section comes over the front of the back section. Pull this over the front so you've got two little bits of yarn on your finger here. Pull the back one over the front one and off your finger and you should find that you get a slip stitch. So what you do is you insert your hook and you want to pull down on the 
section that's still attached to the yarn ball and that's your slip stitch. So what we're going to do first of all is what we call chain six chains on here. One of the hardest things to get used to when you first start crocheting is how to hold your yarn. So I, the way that I do it is I put it round my little finger here, over the top of my this finger, and then I, that's how I, that's how I hold it. Okay, so around your little finger and over the top, and this just keeps the tension here. Right, so. First of all, this is how you want to be holding it. So you're holding onto this small uh, bit here and you're going to put your yarn, what we call, over and pull it through. I'll just show you that again. Yarn over and pull it through. That's twice. Yarn over, pull it through three times. Four, five, and six. So we end up with a chain of six. Then what we want to do is make this into a circle. So we take our crochet hook, and if you look closely, you have a gap just in your chain right at the very beginning. So you put it through your first chain. So insert your hook, yarn over again, and you're going to pull that through that first loop and through the second loop, and then that gives you your circle. Then what we want to do is chain another three. So yarn over, one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three. This makes your first section of your treble crochet. So if I just show you what we're going to be working on now, this is your centre circle here, and we're going to make this or these four sections. So each one of these small little bits within it is a um, treble crochet. This bit here makes one of these the rest of them are just going to look slightly different. It's just a way of starting off that particular round. So we're going to do our treble crochet now. What you want to do for this is you put the yarn over the hook, you insert it into the middle of that circle, yarn over the hook again and pull it through. So you should have three bits on your hook here. Yarn over again, pull it through just two, so then you have two bits, two loops. Yarn over again and pull it through those two. And there we have two bits. So we're just going to do that once more. So yarn over, insert it into the middle of the circle, yarn over, pull through. So you've got three loops, yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we now have our first, um, first section. Now because this is going to be a corner, what you want to do is chain three, so one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three, and then we are going to do exactly the same as with what we've done here. So yarn over, through the middle, yarn over, pull it through, so you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. Exactly the same again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, through two, yarn over through two and once more yarn over in through the middle yarn over pull it through yarn over through two yarn over through two so we've got our second bit 
and we're going to do the corner again. So we'll chain three, one, two, three. Okay, so we're halfway there for the first round. So I'm just going to fast forward it now just so you can see the rest of the section being done. So when do you get to the end bit here, you will be able to see that you've got one section of treble crochet, three treble crochet here, three treble crochet here and three here. So we're just going to finish off this corner by going one, two, three. And then we're going to insert this hook into the third loop or the third chain from this section here. So we're going to go into here, grab our yarn and pull it through two so that you have the first section of your square. Now what we're going to do is chain three again, one, two, three, and we're just going to chain one more and you'll see why in a minute. So we'll just chain one more. And we're going to go ahead and do three treble crochet in this section here. So yarn over, put it through, yarn over, pull through, three hoops, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, and again. Once more, so we have a three treble crochet. Now this is going to be the corner again, so we're going to go one, two, three, and then instead of moving on to the next one, we're going to do three treble crochet in this hole again. So we start to have another corner there. Between this section and this section, we just want to chain one. And we're going to do exactly the same in this corner. So three treble crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and then three treble crochet again. Going from this section to this section, so we're going to chain one and then do the same in this corner. chain three for the corner. Now when you get to this bit you can see that you've got your square forming. Now this section here we've already done what would class as a treble crochet at the beginning so now what we need to do is just do one treble crochet, two treble crochet 
and this one classes as the third. So we count the third chain up, which would be here, and we're going to insert our hook, grab the yarn, put it through the first and the second, so it joins it up. Now for round three, so this is the first round, this is the second round, we're going to start off by chaining three. One, two, three, and that makes the first treble crochet. Now because on this section here we had to move over to this side, this is actually going to start as the treble crochet in this section here. So we're just going to do another two treble crochet. One and two. We're going to chain one just to get across to this bit here. So chain one and then we're going to do three treble crochet in this section, in the corner section. One, two, Now because it's a corner, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then do three, three treble crochet in this same section again. I'm going to chain one to get to this middle one, chain one. And then three treble crochet. Chain one. And three treble crochet into the corner. And because it's a corner, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, three treble crochet again. And when you get to this end, we want this section to connect up to this section. So we chain one because that's what we do to get from one to the other. And then we're going to insert our hook into this top chain here. Grab the yarn, pull it through, pull it through. So we now have three rounds and we're going to go ahead and do the fourth round. So because we're starting here, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to just chain one more so we can get across to this section. So one more, and then go ahead and do your three treble crochet.
I'm just going to do one more treble crochet. Insert the yarn into the third chain from the bottom, or the hook, sorry, and then pull through. And then to finish off, what you want to do is put the yarn over the hook, pull through, take your scissors, cut it off, and then just pull this off completely, and then just pull that nice and tight, and you have your square. So you can either just make lots of these and then attach them all together, um, or you can just continue with this with a different colour. So I will show you how to use um, a different colour or add a different colour to this. All you would do is pop this yarn through one of your um, gaps, tie it in a knot, and that's the way I like to attach mine. Okay, so I just pull both of the ends across this way, insert the hook in the space, pull the yarn through so it looks like you've got one loop on the um, hook, and chain one, two, three, and then just do your two more treble crochet. chain one and then just carry on in exactly the same way that you would all the way around there we have it that is your crochet granny square tutorial I hope you have now made yourself a nice little square and you can continue with that and just build and build and build I would love to know if you have tried this out so please make sure that you either tag me in your pictures or send me a message all of my contact details are below Thank you again for watching, I've absolutely loved doing this tutorial, it is my first ever tutorial so please let me know how you found it, if I can do anything differently next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching, make sure you thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment below and also make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you, bye!